Lindsay Gamble here, HITP Music, Maz Apparel. I'm here with my homie, Spender. What's up? Yeah, man. So, yeah, what's going on? How's 2014 going? It's cool. We got a lot of new things in the works. You know, everything's moving along. It's going to be a good year. Yeah. 2013 was crazy. You, yeah. you dropped off the Jeffrey. Yes, sir. But, um, Evil Doer. Man. That was one of my favorite projects out of the city. I made a couple other lists. Thank you. Um, so talk about that. You know, what was the response from you, you know, personally and, and kind of... Honestly, it was a lot better response than I even intended for because, you know, it was a more traditional style hip-hop album, you know, so you kind of, you know, you're gambling with that with some fans, you know. Some fans, they want they want that real hip-hop, but some fans, they want they want more than that. They want, they want what's more current. I didn't really lean towards that with that one, you know. That was nah, that's traditional <laughs> to, to the to the heart, to the core. But I'm definitely trying to, you know, diversify right now. <laughs> I'm trying to show that I got a lot more to offer. But Jeffrey was a good place to start. Yeah, it was tough, and that kind of marked your, you know, your solo career. You know, you and June have been building up your brand. Um, together now you're, you know you're messing around on solo tip um, what else going on for you personally personally um i got a couple things a couple projects i'm working on right now um i'm working on one with uh, kt from the jungle club well really it's a so, whole jungle club you know collective like, cause, you know, the Jungle Club's deep, you know, shout out to, shout out to the whole Jungle Club. <laughs> but, um, what do we got? How many joints in? Well, I'll say we're more than halfway done with that, but that's not coming for a minute, because that's going to come out pretty special. Um, I got, um, I got a project I'm coming out. I'm not sure if it'll be an EP or an album yet, but, um, with, um, my producer from, you know, my group, Retrospect, Raw Intelligence. Um, no release date on that because I, I really just kind of want that to come out of nowhere. I'm not even sure if I'm going to release a single from that. That might just all come out randomly. But um, I don't even want to give the title away. Man, we can't get that. <laughs> I can't. No and, and that's probably so coming good. the soonest. But I really, I'm trying to, I, I'm taking the page out of the Beyonce book. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just come out of nowhere. I mean, it ain't going to happen with Beyonce effect. I'm gonna try. I feel like that's a new approach I want to take. You know? Unannounced, come out of nowhere, nobody's expecting it. Not too much promo. Yeah. Let's try something new. Yeah, I mean, speaking on top of that, like, what do you, what do you think is important to really get your music out there? Because you know, traditionally everyone's, you know, they upload their mixtape online, which is just drop which, it, which is easy. But I'm, first things first, make sure the music is all the way there first. Very true. Once the music is there, you actually have a product to really work with. Secondly, in these times, the biggest thing is a video. A video is very important, very essential to the promotion of whatever you're trying to do when it comes to music. Visuals, because nowadays people want to know what you look like. They want to know. They want to know how you are as a person. They really want to be. They want to buy into you. So, those are the, that's, that's very key, you know, making sure you can give a piece of yourself to people that they can actually receive and, I got with this, hmm. just something that they can relate to and not feel inferior, <laughs> you know, nobody wants to feel like that. So, um, what, what we got going for shows? Um, well, I, I don't have any solo shows right now. I'm just doing a lot of retrospect shows, which I like to do because we always we always bring it. With that it was always fun. Um, we got well, just just kind of confirmed this, but um, we're opening for Mad Lib soon. Um, we're gonna be doing the Spring Jam at Hampshire College soon. Um. 
there's a couple more that haven't been confirmed yet, but we like to, to make sure that we're always doing shows because that's 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 the biggest part of this too. You have to be able to have a live show. You gotta be able to draw in new people. That's 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 my thing. I always like to draw in new people no matter where we're at. I don't care if there's seven people there. If they didn't know us, they knew us after that. Job done. What's your thoughts on the whole Boston hip hop scene? Honestly, it's in a way better space than it. like it's gotten progressively better over the years. Um, I like I like the fact that the younger generation has a, a voice now. You know, there's not as much negativity per se in the scene anymore. Everybody. Everybody can coexist with one, with one another now. I like that. That, that. that works for me. Everybody has respect for each other. That's yeah, cool. I can think that. Came a long way. Right, right. There was a point where that wasn't, wasn't the case. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so besides music, man, who got the best beard in hip hop? Best beard in hip hop? Well, <laughs> honestly, I gotta always give, you always gotta give, you know, all praise to the beard god Freeway. Freeway. Freeway's the OG beard. That's the inspiration. <laughs> That's the OG beard right there. Not worthy at all. <laughs> I'm um, a junior beard to that beard. It's a senior beard. Um, yeah, so I mean what what else do you like to do besides music, man? Tell us a little bit about yourself besides um, besides spitting on the microphone. Well, shit. Anything that's anything artistic, any anything, anything that's creative. Like I'm really into visual art. You know, my man. You know, my dude that runs Scope. Shout out to the Scope Jake. Gang. You know, I I have like a million of his pieces in my room. Like my room has turned into a gallery. So that's I'm real. I'm really into visual art. Um, I try to infuse that even into the musical aspect, like especially when it comes to like album art. I'm really I'm big into album art because you know one of the first things when I when I got into like just like in hip hop period was records and coming across records and what is seeing the weird old funk records and this looks crazy, but just being curious as to what that sounds like. That's that's a big 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 parts of me so visual art is very key i'm always i've always been into you know sneakers and shit that's that's a vice i'm like i can't even call it a hobby that's a vice <laughs> we all got some materialistic yeah it's it's a vice it's a it's a problem <laughs> it is a, it's a chronic problem i have it's something that needs to probably be dealt with got bills to pay <laughs> Right, right. Cool. So, yeah, where can we find your music? Follow you on Twitter, connect with you on Facebook. Um, well, everything starts at the hologram with two beards.com. Follow me on Twitter at hologram two beards with a Z. Um, Facebook.com slash spender. Spender.bandcamp. And that's S P N D A. Not to be confused with the artificial sweetener. I, I actually, I'm, I'm happy to say that when you Google it now, they don't get it confused anymore. <laughs> You're moving on up in the world. Right. Moving on up somewhere. I'll take that. <laughs> All right, well, appreciate it, bro. My man. No problem. Anytime. Lindsay Gamble, Spinda, HITP Music, Master Painter.